Hello everybody, my name is Gothic Lord UK. I'm playing demos during Steam Next Fest. This is Cursor Blade. Cursor Blade is a bullet hell where you play as the cursor that fights your way through waves of enemies. If you want to check out the game for yourself, there'll be a link down below as well as available to wishlist if you want to. Let's jump in, see what this is all about. Character select, cursor, ability, dodge, spin, stone blade, starts with more max hearts, deals less damage, ability, stone wall. We'll take the cursor blade, thank you ever so much. So, I can whack into, oh. Okay, I whack the blobs, the blobs can bite me back. Choose one weapon, Shroom. Creates toxic spore around you, dealing damage to enemy any enemies within range. Sticky Bomb, chance to attach a bomb to an enemy. Porcupine, chance for enemies to fight out quills on death. Give me Porcupine. So, we don't seem to have a clock, but I need to watch out for angry faces. The temptation is to just spam everything. Restores two hearts when pick up a heart. Adds two max hearts, adds three more rerolls. Give me two more max hearts. Drops a star to attack random enemies. Attach a sticky bomb, chance to freeze enemies. Give me stars. These little goblins look like a pain in my butt. Do I heal? Back to max every time, or am I picking up health and I don't even know it? Let's just stack up Porcupine. I have no idea what I'm really doing. Chance to deal triple damage, chance to inflict burn, chance to freeze. Give me triple damage. My health is just diminishing very quickly. So maybe I take an extra moment to think about what's going on at any given moment. Oh, there's a heart. Alright, I can find hearts. Deals damage to all enemies after taking damage. Recover all of your hearts. Deals double damage briefly after taking damage. Let's re-roll. Deals one more slash damage per missing heart. Hearts drop from enemies more frequently. Reduces enemies' projectile speed. Give me more hearts dropped by enemies. Choose a weapon. Leaves a fire trail that burns enemies. Sticky bombs or higher chance to deal triple damage. Give me more target. Oh god. Oh god. Well, I got wrecked. Clearly, I need to uh, plan better. Let's go again. No idea how long the demo is, but I'm here for it. Get get dead, yes. Alright, let's try other things. Give me sticky bombs this time. Oh. Yes, my bombs. Get them. The more I concentrate, the less I talk. Reduces max health for all enemies. Recover all hearts, add two max. Give me the max again. I need the extra health. And let's have a chance to freeze this time. Once those guys are dead, it's really just a nice calm roll to the finish. Although we are on a combo system, I think. So the higher a combo, the better for our score. Releases a lightning bolt that jumps to nearby enemies. I'll take it. Kind of love that. Nice small wave for us. Give me more sticky bomb. Yeah, apparently taking a moment to actually consider what's attacking you from where will do you very well. Fire, give me the fire trail, sure. I am all of the elements. It would be fun to see some specifically enforced synergies, kind of like you would get in Enter the Gungeon when you have multiple weapons. 
Deals double damage briefly at the start of the wave. Become invincible briefly every 10 seconds. Add three more rerolls. I'll take the rerolls, then be more liberal with them. I want more lightning. Yeah. Is it firing actual bees at me? Is that the intent? I think it's the intent. Even more sticky bomb. Give me the heart, give me the heart, thank you. Creates toxic spores around you, more lightning. God, eventually there's gonna be nowhere to hide, is there? Give me the heart, give me the heart. I just want more clover until I'm making so many hearts they can't not heal me. More clover. Spawns an orbiting cactus that deals damage. Just give me more lightning then. And I'll try and be very careful. Just a little, little dip in. Dip out again. Get the heart. I've never been one to be really good at kind of very twitchy first-person shooter stuff, and I feel like this is the same bit of the brain for, like, very twitchy mouse movements where do you want it to be at any given moment, that kind of stuff. But now I'm on my last health and I'm very aware of it. Come on, stop trying to kill me. Get out of here. Uh, more hearts from enemies, absolutely. More lightning. Why do they have moustaches? God, I'm focusing so much. Hearts, get it. All right, now I can breathe a tiny, tiny sigh of relief. But I shouldn't get cocky. That's how I die. All right, we're through it. Wave 11 already. More lightning. Ah, the bees. The tiny slingshot guys aren't a problem. I can handle them. Um, give me shooting stars. God, that's a lot of a lot of folks. Yes, my bombs. Ah, uh, get wrecked as soon as I touch the heart. Get myself ruined. All right, now back to being really careful. I need some cake, that's what I need. Get the heart. Get that heart, okay, now we can breathe. No rerolls left. I will take bigger bombs. Oh, Jesus. Sometimes spamming does seem like the way forward. Other times it's going to get me killed. Oh, what's that? Is that health? Do one more per slash per missing heart. I guess that makes a lot of sense for us right now. Um, 
even bigger bombs. Alright, the bee is gone. I've got no idea how frequently pips from my um, cursor actually hit stuff. Like, if I move around faster, am I technically actually doing more damage per swipe or whatever? No! Wave 16. I must know, how many waves are there? Alright, let's give this one more go. One more real effort. Starts with more max hearts, deals less damage, ability... I didn't even figure out the abilities. Oh, it's up here. What is it, though? I'm not sure, but here we are. We've not done Shroom yet. The ultimate defensive build. If we can level up that real high, seems like it would make a lot of sense. Alright, movement is key apparently. Spawns an orbiting shield that blocks incoming projectiles. Now, give me more heart drops. And... Something new. Chance to inflict burn, dealing damage over time. I know I, I like this sword less than the other one. We back to the other sword. And I'll figure out what this actual use case is. I assume it's like a dodge roll. It's my best guess. Alright. A field of shooting stars is what we want. Big combos. Big combos. Bad health. Deals damage to all enemies after taking damage. I don't want things that make me take more damage, you know? I should have taken the stars. And this has gone horribly. I've gotten way too greedy way too early. Stars and lightning. That's all I want is stars and lightning. Ah, double health pickups. Yes, please. And I've lost them both. Because I'm bad. Super bad. I thought I had the invincibility, but I don't have a like a cognition of how long that invincibility is going to last. All right, let's go one last time for all the marbles. No getting chewed on here. More lightning. I like the lightning. This is my concentrating face, can you tell? More heart drops. More lightning. Concentrating, not spamming. All right, we're fine. More lightning. Ah, oh, that was just the most poorly timed thing in the history of the world. More lightning! Alright, I'm out of rerolls. But I am full on lightning. And the health. Alright, what else? Orbiting cactus.
Can the cactus trigger my lightning, or is that me doing it nearby? I think it's just me being nearby when I drift in to actually hit stuff. More rerolls? Yeah, I'll take more rerolls. Because I want more lightning, but I'll take two orbiting cacti. That seems like a great time, doesn't it? He says, immediately taking more damage. Another orbiting cactus. I mean, I want more lightning, but... For the large waves that are coming up, this seems ideal. Um, I'll take some bombs. So many bullets to avoid. All right, we're at full health. Really appreciate that. Um, give me some shooting stars. I regret going as hard and fast as I did there. So much for being at full health. I thought I could get in before a bunch of stuff hit me. Deals damage to all enemies after taking damage. Reduces enemy projectile speed. Bubble. Give me the speed. Give me more bomb. All right, this should be impossible to lose. What I don't know is if health drops are related to combo in any way, or whether they're truly random. Give me that heart, give me this heart. That heart went off the screen. Just try and go to the corner of the screen that isn't flashing. I never figured out the dodge roll here. Health. Thank you. What do we get to on our best? Six, oh, 16. That was hell. More cacti. Thank you for the very early health. I appreciate it. It's like a tiny nuke goes off when we actually bother to pass through the whole thing. More lightning. Yep, the bullets are bad for me. I can see that much. Oh god, oh god. Let me kill some of this stuff please so I can have some space. Thank you. Um, hum and a hum and a hum and a hum, more stars. Ah. All right, there's so many enemies. But it's the ones that you should hypothetically never lose to, right? Just looking for any health drops that might be make themselves apparent. No health drops. Absolutely nothing. A hundred combo, no health drops. Cake. God, I needed the cake. More cacti. Cacti is just very satisfying, you know? 
The clouds are dicks, though. Go away, cloud. It might be October in Britain, but I don't want more cloud. All right, we're at full. We're no longer at full health again, but we were for a moment there. Wave 15. Chance to deal triple that. No, let's go with this ring of orbiting that we've got going on. Ah! These chompy guys are such dicks because you feel like you should be so perfectly placed to never have to concern yourself with them. And then they bite you and they make me feel silly. No. We're on our record. All right, guys. Score 20,030 points. That is Curse of Blade. If you have any recommendations for Steam Next Fest or other demos I should check out, put them down in the comments down below. Hit the like button for subscribe for more stuff like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.